Hello besties, let's begin. So first thing first, wash your hands. We will be putting on contacts. Foundations more concentrated on these areas are going to make your face look more lifted. And here I am using a flat brush that gives much more coverage than compared to the Beauty Blender. Now I am spreading foundation evenly onto my whole face with this brush and later I will be using a Beauty Blender to cover it evenly. Now blend onto your areas under your eyes. Make sure you dab it properly and that every area of your face is covered evenly. Next moving on to the lipstick here I am using my Glam Pink lipstick. Spread it using your brush. Make sure that the corners are blended. Now moving on to the blush, I will be using this light pink shade. I DIY'd this shade for myself and I just stored it in a Nykaa lip balm. And here you will be using your ring finger to apply the blush. This way you lessen the pressure of damaging your skin, of patting into it. Next on to our eyebrows, I really like to keep my eyebrows light because they usually get hidden by my bangs. You can use eyebrow pencil or eyebrow pomade or eyeshadow that suits your eyebrow shade. Don't touch on the places where you already have fluffy eyebrows. Just fill up the gaps. Now on to our eye makeup. Lift your lashes, take your pencil liner, fill the gaps below your roots of your eyelashes. After tight lining, we will be moving on to our another eye. We will water line using white pencil liner. We will be also creating a light egg cell by highlighting our bags with the white liner. Use the same white liner to highlight your areas where you want it to be highlighted under your eyebrows, above your eyebrows for more prominent look and just blend it using your finger. Now I will be using an angled brush and will be creating a shadow that I naturally have. You just have to exaggerate what you have naturally. Just exaggerate your natural features. Next, grabbing onto my mascara. I'll be using an essence mascara. Turn your mascara into 360 degree turn. Look down into the mirror. Turn your mascara 360 degree. This is the thing you have to remember for longest lashes to have. Here I am using eyelash curler after mascara. This way you see it just removes every excess mascara that was on my lash and makes it much more slimmer longer. Use this glitter eyeshadow. This is from Nika Ke Nika and then blend it with your fingers. You can use brush but I prefer my hands because it is more warm and it blends well. 
Use it onto your nose. And here down to your chin. Now zooming out. Next we will be using a highlighter. Look at the difference. It just makes it much more 3D. It elongates your look. Using the same pinky, highlighting the upper eyebrow. contouring the contouring has to be very light usually you put contour where you normally have shadows falling upon your face so under your nose onto the side there are the shadows that usually fall and then it is done now i will style my hair and come back thank you